Hi and welcome to another of my learning Photoshop videos. Now we don't always get the shot we want when we're photographing elements really beyond our control. Like the sky for instance. Well that's pretty much out of our control. And often we don't get the opportunity to try again. Now I love that long exposure cloud look. So if for whatever reason we didn't get the shot and we've got a pretty static sky like here, it's nice but fairly static, how can we change it to give it that that look of motion? Well here's a quick Photoshop technique to create a feeling of long exposure cloud movement to make your sharp skies look like they were shot at a slow shutter speed. So first thing we need to do is to select the sky. So I'm going to go to my tool of choice which is the quick selection tool. I'm just going to try and make a fairly quick and dirty selection. And I've missed a little bit on there, so I'll hold the Alt key down to subtract from selection. And there's a little bit up there. Oh, that's not bad. I'll just refine the edge a little bit. I'll just put a little bit of smoothness in, tiny bit of feather, a little bit of contrast. And that should be OK. I now want to jump this to a new layer. I want to copy it to a new layer. And there's a great keyboard shortcut for that of Control on J. And that now jumps that. If you look in the layers panel here, I've got my sky on a separate layer now. Just got all this sky overlaid on top. So what I'm going to use now is a new filter. And it's in the blur gallery. And it's called Path Blur. And this is where you can actually blur, but do it on a path. Now, here's the path. Here's the first one. Let me click. I can drag that to make it longer. We'll drag that to make it longer. You can actually blur on a curve if you want it blurring on a bendy curve. But we'll leave it for the moment to straight. And then you've got either you can change things from the endpoints. So I can change the amount of blur with this little rotator dial. I can do the same at this end. If you look over to the right hand side, you can see that the actual sliders moving. So you can do it either way. You can do it from the sliders or from the points themselves. And if you see now, I've got a real feeling of movement. I've left the shutter open a long time and those clouds are actually moving. Let's just see if we can just give it a little bit more. And the taper, that's how, how the edges of the blow fade off. Now I'll just go a little bit far with that, just to show you that there, there are times when, if you look here, we've got some of the blur that's actually come round and into the castle. And I obviously don't want that. So how can we fix that? Well, if we're happy with the sky, then I'll click on OK. And that'll render out that nice motiony sky. But what I'm going to do now is, is use a mask. So I'm going to click to add a mask to my sky layer. I'm going to make sure black is my foreground colour. I'm going to pick a paintbrush that's got a nice soft edge to it. And I'm now going to paint with black. And what I'll do is I'll paint back and I'll reveal the castle again. So any edges that where the blurs just come over the edge, I can just remove it and bring the castle back so it's nice and clear against that movement the sky. Well that's a quick technique for producing a long exposure feel to the sky using the path blur. Now, I hope you found that useful. If you did please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss future episodes. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.